Hello Chat Box out there. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my pop figures. I hope you guys have all had a lovely Thursday and that you're all first in Friday of this week and you've all had a great week. It is Friday today, the end of the week, almost the weekend and the pubs are reopening tomorrow. So happy, can't wait to get back to work. I went off to get my bank card sorted up because quite a lot of places aren't taking cash at the moment due to the pandemic so I went and sorted that out. I then went off to my workplace as they're getting it ready for reopening tomorrow and I had a nice chat with one of my siblings whom I get on my really well and he was painting markings on the floor so I kept in company while he was doing that and it helped him get it done quite quickly. I also hope you don't mind me just sticking around to chat you because I didn't really have much else to do and I offered to help but there wasn't really much to do so I just chatted with him for a bit and then I went off and got myself a drink then went back and chatted with him a little bit more went off to the flower shop and then he went off back inside and decided to do some stuff in there and I was like I'm going to go off now I'll see you next week I'm not going to go out on the weekend because it will be bedlam so I'm going to go out next week hopefully when my card or the wife so I'll be able to buy myself a few drinks of can't wait to get some orange juice their orange juices are the best and hopefully should be back to work within a few weeks and yeah I'm really looking forward to getting back to work and I then made my way back home now home my dad sorted out the bedroom that's going to be my brother's bedroom and he's going to be putting the TV out there that I used to watch the soaps on in my bedroom and my older brother's holding his Xbox his younger sister is up at uni and is at hers. I had some Nutella sandwiches for my lunch and a cup of tea and me and my mum were watching some episodes of Murder She Wrote, wrote a bit of my journal and did some drawing and I played with my main beauty doll and I'm now going to be showing you guys the pop figures. So the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is the Elsa Frozen doll. I love and love Frozen. Olaf is brilliant in the second one. Went and saw that in the cinema and it's going to be out on Disney Plus tomorrow I think, or well, it might be today, I'll have to go check later on, I just love the second one, and then I got this one here, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory, I watched the final episode, this one from mum and older brother, and I love Big Bang Theory, my siblings all say that I am the UK version of Sheldon Cooper, as I have a few tendencies like him, but I like him, I wish I was smart like him, and I have a cushion that says you're on my spot, which is what he always says. Love a Sheldon Cooper, and I love Sheldon Cooper, John Sheldon as well. This is Sheldon Cooper's spin-off show, and it's so funny. They've cast it really well. And then I got this one here, which is the biggest one I've got out of the seven I've got. And it's the Clara Memorial TARDIS when she died. Got killed by Crim. So sad, but it's not Amy and Rory level death or... Donna's death. Donna's the sad one. She didn't die, but she had to forget all she did with the doctor, which is really crappy. And unlike the others, like Rose, she got put in a parallel universe, but she still got to meet him again. And she got the human doctor in her parallel universe. But what did Donna get? She got had to forget everything, so that sucks. And yeah, so Clara's death wasn't really that sad for me. It's a bit of a weird death, and I liked her at the start, and then she just got a bit irritating. And yeah, I can't wait for new Doctor Who. Speaking of new Doctor Who, I've got the 13th Doctor Pot figure here, which I got for my birthday for my older brother. And I absolutely love J.J. Whittaker's Doctor. She reminds me of the 10th Doctor and the 4th Doctor. And she's just awesome. I can't wait for the new series of Doctor Who to come out. And I then got this one here, which is the Dalek. Exterminate my bad impression of the Dalek. And um, then got this one here, which is the Tempest Doctor. I started watching Doctor 2 on the Ninth Doctor, but the Tempest Doctor is definitely my favourite Doctor. Maybe love Doctor 2. Reminds me a lot of the Fourth Doctor. David Tennant is just such a brilliant actor, and yeah, I just absolutely love the Tempest Doctor. And then I got this one here, which is is the one I got for my birthday and I absolutely love it. It's a little Adipo, I think he 
I could get one of the Nexus and make an army of Adipos. Basically fat and they're just so adorable. Look at it waving. It's so adorable. Such a great episode. Doctor Who's episode with Calvin Tate who played Donna and David Tennant who played the Doctor was such an amazing episode. Parts of Crime absolutely loved it. Loved them on the opposite side of the room and them like talking to each other through the windows. It was just comedy gold and then at the end when Donna meets Rose and we didn't even know at the time and Rose turned around and I literally lost my quarter. Oh my god! It was just such a great episode. Probably one of my favourite episodes of Dot Two and I just can't believe they made Donna forget all that she'd seen and done. Kind of sucks. And yeah, those are my pop figures. I've got seven in total. I was sorting out my office as uh, getting it ready to take upstairs to the bedroom when I get the wall taken down, which is up. Uh, my younger brother has to watch with mine to get to his room. Once that gets down, I'm going to have my office that's in the hallway downstairs, up in my office, up in my bedroom, so I have my office one side, my bed, and then my doll stuff. I've got quite a lot of doll stuff up in the loft to put in there as well. I think I'm a bit of a holder and I have so much stuff to put in there. Hopefully the floor doesn't give way. And yeah, I just can't wait to get that sorted out, get the TV put in there tonight. So I'll be able to watch all the normal TV channels as we're going to have the TV box in there. So I'll be able to watch my soaps up in my bedroom in peace, write my journal, doing drawing. And I'll be able to sit in my bed and chill and watch whatever I want on TV, which should be really fun. And yeah. The end room bedroom for my younger brother is coming on really nicely, so I can't wait for him to be able to have his bedroom done there so I can get the room all to myself and not have to put up with him being on his Xbox to got those men screaming and shouting over FIFA and being super loud and crazy as per usual. I don't know why I wore this top because it's a little bit gloomy out there but it's still quite humid so I keep having to pull the sleeves up because it's quite hot. But it was also a little bit windy. When I was walking up to the bank to get my car sorted out earlier on, I literally thought I was going to get blown away. And I messaged my hairdresser, who normally does hairdressers from home, but she's working at one of the barbers in the high street at the moment. So I'm going to have to go up there and get her to sort my hair, because she's the only one that I like to sort my hair, because she just always does such a great job with my hair. She does such a good job getting it sorted out. It's getting a bit long and I need my beard trimmed, so I think I'll have to go up there. Not straight away, probably next week or the week after when it's not too busy. Because this weekend, gosh, the people working in the pubs and restaurants and hairdressers are going to have their work cut off them because it's going to be so busy. I'm a little bit worried because people to do it working like that are risking get catching this virus, which isn't very nice. So my hats go off to them, who are risking it to get back to work. Because that's the risk you've got to pay, because of course we've got to try push forward and get back to a bit of normality and open, get the business open again. So hopefully touch with nobody catches it or nobody gets it too badly. Now that the death rates are dropping and we've got this medicine that can help prevent the death should be a lot better and also hopefully we find a cure soon but yeah we've just got to keep washing our hands keep wearing the mask and keep social distancing and just hope that we can get back to normality they think by november time it should be a lot better so that should be good hopefully should be back to work by then because december is my one year anniversary of walking working at my workplace I started working there on the night for December. I've been working there for three months and of course this bloody pandemic happened, which is very infuriating, but what can you do? So hopefully get back there soon. I saw one of the colleagues just before I left and they said, hope to see you in a few weeks time. So that's a good sign. And I hope that it should be basically enough that they will need me and the others back. I think, I feel positive that it will be 
of it won't be long till they need me back because we've got so many bookings and they've got a little like the zebra bit out the front where they have marked it so they wait and uh, have to have a certain amount of people in at a time so that should be good and there's lots of things that they've been doing to keep it nice and safe and so that people feel at ease and don't feel on edge when in there so yeah it's really good they've handled it really well and yeah I'm now off to go watch the Aussie soaps last time watching the Aussie soaps out the end room before the TV goes up into my bedroom write a bit of my journal and I'm just going to be doing some more drawing we're working on a new book series at the moment so that's been going really well and I'm just probably going to go listen to a bit of music do some coming on the app of my phone and play with my memory doll maybe sort of bleed those out tomorrow and yeah I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far also just be watching lots of TikToks the new TikTok the other day which is so good Mean Girls TikTok and I watched Mean Girls last night love that film so funny and yeah I hope you guys have had a great week have a lovely weekend ahead and I shall see you soon for this vlog coming very soon bye